Hello, and thank you for viewing today's video. Today, we are going to be talking about backup storage locations, specifically local backup storage, and how we can go ahead and add that local location as a default for your backup storage. So the first thing you're going to want to do if you want to do it as a default would be come down to backup storage. You're going to see all your locations here on the left, but if you want to add a new one, you can come down and hit add location. From here, we can select which machine we want to browse from. Um, for example, we'll just kind of leave it on this SPP-WS. We'll uh, leave that as our, our base place that we're going to go out and look for that local location from. If we want to do it for a local folder, we can come in. We can select that local folder um, from that agent scanning that machine for it. If we want to do a network folder, we can basically type in that network folder NAS location. Uh, go ahead and hit the arrow here, and it'll just go ahead and confirm that uh, connection. Most likely, you'll have to type in the credentials for that storage location as well. Um, if we want to create a hidden partition on the machine, we can go ahead and hit Secure Zone, select the machine, um, go ahead and go through the process of creating that Secure Zone as well. Uh, if you want more information on that, uh, please reach out to your Cronus associate. Uh, the second way you can go ahead and add a location, because that was the process for that way, uh, you can go through the device and go through the protection plan. So if we're looking to create a protection plan for a machine, let's select this machine here. Go ahead and hit protect. Uh, from there, we go through the process of creating that backup plan or protection plan. Going to go through and complete that process. Then under backup, we'll have a uh, location setting in here. When we are asked where to back up, we can go ahead and click on cloud storage. You can see we have those pre-existing storage locations already in here. So if I was to have gone and add that location, that would have been the next location down here at the bottom. Um, if we want to add one from within the protection plan, we would just add, hit this add location, go through the same process that we did under the backup storage tab of the local folder, network folder defined by script. So those are your different ways that you can add a backup storage location, specifically a local backup storage location. Uh, thank you for joining today's video and we'll see you on the next one.